Okay, let's call the meeting to order then. I don't know how we do that. I think that's sufficient. You just did. <laughs> and I would just do a roll call of who's here. And I have to do that? Okay, who's here? It's definitely fair to do this because I can speak for myself that the weather messed up uh, my driving getting home. So here I am remotely. <laughs> And hi, Rob, you are my landlord's son. Good to hear from you and see you again. It's true. You too. Okay, so it, it looks like um, the following commissioners are here. Uh, Robert DeVoe, uh, Gwen Depot, Taylor Samuel, and Dan uh, Gajowski. Sorry if I'm good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and also present, but um, without vote, is Tabitha Harkin from the town of Groton and attorney Eric Callahan and the complainant Jesse King, the tenant. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hand it over to the commission if someone wants to make a motion to proceed or to adjourn to a different date or how well, can i ask there one question oh. I, I just i did see on that report in the email that there had been no inspections done can we is there any way to um make get an inspection to happen between now and the time that this happens because i think that as you know from the perspective of a landlord if in, if she got far in advance a letter in, in regards to her rent increase that I, you know, I question whether or not she had fair time to find an, you know, an adequate place before this rent increase happened. Um, and I think that in order for him to feel like he has ammunition to increase the rent, I just want to make sure everything's up to code. And if not, then yeah. I'm seeing on my screen a Bryce Hall. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, I'm trying to unmute him or her. Shut up, Dad! Excuse me? Was that a human? No idea what that was. <laughs> I'm going to remove them. Apparently they got on, so. <laughs> but I don't, did anybody hear my question? Can we set up uh, an inspection to make sure everything's up to code? I would, I think that's a question for the tenant or landlord. Is the tenant here? Yes. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Oh, was there a question? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, is there any, we noticed on your uh, form application that you submitted to the commission uh, that there wasn't a inspection. We were wondering if that could possibly done or if that needed to be done. Uh, could you just go into like elaborate on that for us? I don't remember. What is that question? For, so I meant like in re in regards to the building being up to code, because I think there's supposed to be like two fire exits or, you know, two exits for somebody to be able to get out of a unit, things like that. I'm just wondering if all of those are up to code, which, you know, because if not, then it would definitely behoove him to continue having you as a tenant at the rate you're at, you know. Oh, um, right. That's definitely not the case, but I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. So to the best of your knowledge, there hasn't been any inspection done by the town or anything like that. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it took I, me so long to answer that question. I believe that the fire marshal has to inspect multi-unit dwellings every three years or is it every year? I don't remember. Um, so there should be one on record, but I do know that they don't always push, especially because of COVID, they weren't pushing to get them done if people weren't making time for them, I think. 
that makes sense. So there, there may we, be one on record. In? Yeah, how can we check that? I would imagine contacting the fire marshal would be the next step, right? To see if there's take, a recent one. So I can I, take I, that responsibility. A procedural question. And that is, is if we're going to reschedule this meeting, I believe that the dialogue that we're experiencing right now should also, shouldn't that be contained in the next meeting? You know, Mr. we're talking about Mr. Saragakis and his lifestyle, uh, his uh, livelihood here. Uh, and people have advocated that he should be here uh, in order to defend himself and to represent what his side of the story is. Uh, and I'm just wondering, you know, yeah, if there, uh, somebody wants to go do some kind of an inspection, let them go do an inspection. But if I were the homeowner or the building owner, I wouldn't want that. Uh, That's fair. But we're, we're dealing fair. with a time issue. You know, this, this became an issue in November of last year. And here we are now. Uh, at, at what cost? We have a lot of people here together. And this is costing each one of us something, including the town. This is a, it's got a dollar cost and we're exceeding what the value is of the complaint. You know, I'd like to have some of this fertilizer for my garden. All right, so now that it's been called, when can we reschedule? I was going to ask, is pay? there a limit? Because I know we have to, do we have to uh, publish, like announce the meeting or I know that there's usually limits or rules on that. The only rule that I had on this meeting was that I needed to give two weeks notice to the tenant and landlord. So, so if we were to continue the meeting, could we continue it to next week or do we have to do it more than two weeks? I think two weeks, right, Eric? Yeah, I, well, I think because you've already given the notice of the meeting, you could, um, you could adjourn it to the following week if you really wanted to. As long as we all agree on the date tonight and set it. You know, a week from tonight. It's arbitrary, but you know, any any date is gonna be good at this point. That works for me. The twenty fifth. That works. Same time. Know. by me so do we have a so, majority well we need to make a motion yeah. right motion so i'll make a motion to continue the mo the meeting to next thursday march 25th at 6 p.m second motion is made and seconded is it appropriate to make a motion to adjourn well, we got to vote on the motion Right. Nope. Point. Good point. Good point. So what's the vote on the motion? Can you repeat that motion? I'm sorry, I had a connection problem. The motion is to extend this meeting until next week at the same time. That works great for me. Anybody else? So how many votes in the affirmative? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. So what's so next? That's it. I'll, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Is there a second? I second it. I, I second. Motion made and seconded. All those approved. Say aye. 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 Aye seem to win. We conclude till next week at this time. Okie doke. Thank you all so Who's much. Going for to, <laughs> who is going to be contacting this uh, landlord to join? I will. Um,
Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tab. I appreciate you. Thank you.